Thank you for purchasing a beautiful new forever and ever hydrangea. For your gardening success, I have some recommendations. First of all, I recommend planting your forever and ever hydrangea mid-spring to early summer or early in the fall. If you plant too soon in the spring, you might catch a late frost. If you plant too late in fall, your hydrangea might not have time to establish itself before winter. And it's best to try to avoid planting in the heat of midsummer unless you're prepared to water daily. Before you plant your forever and ever hydrangea, choose a spot that gets morning sun and afternoon shade. Be sure to plan for your hydrangea's ultimate size, up to four feet tall and wide. This spot here is perfect. Now you need to dig a hole about three times wider than the container that you're planting, but no deeper. The extra width of the hole is very important because it's difficult for tender roots to develop when the soil that it's surrounded by is compacted. As you dig these wider holes, just think of all the calories you're burning. In one hour of gardening, you can burn about 300 calories. Now that your hole is ready, be sure to backfill it with a quality soil amendment such as this. If you have sandy soils, you can mix in a little peat moss. Compost or pine bark will help break up heavy clay soils. A quick tamp of the soil will eliminate any air pockets that may have formed while we were planting and we'll make a two to three inch ridge of soil around our plant. We want to add a good slow release fertilizer in here at the time of planting. That'll get us through the next two to three months. Plenty of nutrition for these beautiful flowers. Then we want to put about a two to three inch layer of mulch on. That will really help through these hot summer months that are coming July, August. Help us retain a lot of moisture, keep this plant well nourished. If you ever need to transplant your hydrangea, do it in late fall or winter, once the plant has become dormant and lost all of its leaves. We want to settle our plant in today with just a nice gentle soaking of water. For more information, tips, and location-specific details, please visit your local garden center or foreverandeverplants.com.